because they were very sad and then they meet you and you're like a beacon of light in their life and they're like oh my god i'm finally happy again um you have someone here that i don't know why i can't stay away from you this feels very karmic because you also have of course karmic partner issues you're going to be meeting a soulmate soon scorpio but you also have that uh, immature energy around you that is that hi scorpio this is your may 2021 love reading so you have two people here this month that are heavily interested in a connection with you one of these people though is going to be a lot more serious than the other one i'm seeing mainly air signs and water signs for you Towards the end of the month, you have the Knight of Wands with the Three of Wands. That is someone coming in very hot and heavy. And this is giving me a very superficial, very lustful energy to where they just want to get you into bed. You're going to get a vibe from this person that does not seem very authentic or honest. And Spirit is telling you to actually pay attention to that. Because you have someone else here that's showing up as being more mature than this other one. And they're going to be coming to you very quickly. And they're going to be expressing a lot of communication. And this is actually the person at the bottom of your deck as well that wants a relationship with you. Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is someone that is coming to you with good intentions meaning they want a relationship with you. But then you have someone else here that just wants to have fun. They just want to take you out in the town. They want to get you in the sack. And if you're for that, that's fine. But just know that you have someone else here that wants something deeper with you. You're also going to be dealing with a feminine energy up here that is showing up as the Queen of Swords that you cannot trust. And whenever you're talking to them, or whenever you're hanging out with them, there's something off about this energy and you can feel it because they have the moon on top of them. So this is definitely someone that you have bad vibes from or you just don't want to hang out with them because you feel that. And I would definitely listen to your intuition on this if you're experiencing that. This may come later on in the month though. For some of you, this is going to be someone that you work with princess of discs or someone in your family you do have a soulmate coming through this month scorpio and this is going to be a karmic cycle that you're starting with someone very soon for some of you you already know of this person because you have the devil the lust card the chariot and temperance so you already feel that very deep soul connection with this person but it's going to be kicked into high gear this month if you choose to entertain the Knight of Wands character, just know that that can go a bit awry because they're not in it for the long haul. This other person, the King of Cups, they seem a lot more emotionally stable than this other more immature energy over here. And you're definitely going to feel that. This person has the potential to break your heart. Absolutely. And right now you're trying to ground yourself you're trying to quiet your mind you do have a lot of mental energy in your energy you have the nine of swords and the five of swords so your mind is kind of beating your ass right now in terms of you not being able to sleep at night you need a lot of rest this month and if you're struggling with anxiety insomnia that kind of thing then spirit is telling you to really Pay attention to what calms you down with the Four of Swords energy. So take that time out for yourself to do what feels good to your own soul. You are struggling and worrying about your finances or you're feeling in the state of anxiety and worry in general. That's your own mind playing tricks on you, Scorpio. You feel like you're at a loss here with the Six of Wands reversed, but you have the Empress clarifying this. So it's almost like you're lying to yourself in some way because you're so much more clever and so much more resourceful than you're giving yourself credit for, especially towards the beginning of the month here. And the only reason why you're doing that to yourself and sacrificing yourself in that way 
is because you feel so overwhelmed with the Ten of Wands. But there's going to be something here where you're trying to get something off the ground. You're communicating to this, this idea to other people with the Prince of Swords and the Page of Coins here. This is something that it's almost like you have a great idea or you have some kind of inclination to start something here, but you're not trusting it. I want to advise you, Scorpio, that if you're asking other people for their advice, they may shoot this down for you and to not listen to their advice because in some ways they're just giving you more anxiety and they're compounding on this feeling of lack for you because you have something here with the page of coins and it's going to require your own strength to really follow through with this but you're in so much anxiety that you don't trust it and you don't really trust yourself but your spirit guides are trying to tell you that your gut instincts are right here with the empress even if you feel like you have not won anything in a really long time, if you feel like you've been the underdog, if you feel like your ideas don't match up to other people's ideas, that's a lie that you're telling yourself because you have something here that you're sitting on, much like Gemini's energy for the last few months. But the only reason why it's not coming to fruition is because you're creating all these nightmares for yourself, these nightmaric scenarios that are just not true and it's coming from a place of lack five of pentacles so because you have the princess of swords and the nine of wands i would advise that you just keep that to yourself and keep that idea to yourself so that you don't allow other people's input and opinions to affect it in any way so that it can manifest easier for you because right now you are feeling like you're on your last leg, like you're really exhausted. Towards the middle of May, this is going to be a challenge for you. This feeling of exhaustion. And it's only because you have this misperception that other people's ideas are better than yours or that other people are better than you. And it's not true. Towards the end of May, that's when you're going to start getting this king of cups individual coming forward as well as this knight of wands individual this person is incredibly emotional and they're going to be communicating that to you in the form of text or calling or email and then this knight of wands individual is going to be a lot more uh, action oriented where they just show up or they want to take you out faster they want to you know move things along a lot more quickly and it's because they want to get you in the sack quicker. And this one here wants to actually experience that emotional side of you so that they can actually create a deeper connection with you. And that's the person that wants to have a relationship with you. Now, they don't have to be exactly a water sign, but they will act like a water sign. And for this Knight of Wands individual, again, the same is true. They don't have to be a fire sign, but they will act like a fire sign, okay? And there's someone shady up here that you're having to deal with, again, that you cannot trust. So if you have a certain idea, I do not recommend that you tell this person that idea because they will shoot that down. This Knight of Wands individual definitely wants to get you into bed, Scorpio. You have intimacy here, but the universe has a plan. You're going to absolutely be meeting someone new, but you have to release someone else. You do have two people at least that want your attention this month. So that is going to be a choice for you. You have a soulmate coming in here though. I feel like it's going to be the more emotional person. So they can match you on that level. And you have someone that's going to be a life partner to you. This feels very karmic. And when you meet this person, you're going to be experiencing a lot more flow in your finances and your money a lot more luck in that department but it's important that you don't waste your energy on someone that's going to be siphoning this from you because i feel like there's certain people that you're talking to and that you're dealing with that are jealous or that do not support you and that's going to be 
a big uh, challenge for you this month is getting those people out of your system and out of your your circle. So with the soulmate card here, again, you have the two of cups. You're definitely going to meet someone that you're connecting with on a deep level this month. But you're having difficulty trusting this person. And I feel like it's actually because you're also dealing with someone that is literally untrustworthy. So it's important to get that person out of your your system, as I said, so that you can focus solely on the one that is actually genuine. Because I feel like this Knight of Wands person is going to be very attractive to you. And they're going to make you feel a lot of feelings, but it's going to be more on the surface level. And especially if this is a karmic cycle of someone that you can't really let go of, they're going to be playing on your emotions. But really, I feel like they're more, again, surface-based. And also, steer clear of anyone that is trying to get you hooked into their financial situation because they may give you a sob story about how they need money. And I feel like this is something that the Knight of Wands would do where they try to guilt trip you into offering your own finances in some way. This is a warning sign. Okay, Scorpio, do not do this. Because in your energy, you have chemistry and the Seven of Swords. And I feel like you may actually end up being blinded by someone's looks or by the connection that you have with someone. When in reality, it's, uh, it's a falsehood and it's someone that's being deceptive. But that is showing up towards the end of the month. So you'll know when to look for that. And the more genuine person is showing up more towards the middle to the end of the month. I feel like they're before this other one, okay? So we're going to take a look at this deeper. We're going to see how this person feels about you, both the genuine person and the more lustful person. And then we're going to look at the outcome and your other oracle cards. So I love you so much, Scorpio, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.